What is up everybody, I'm of course the one, the only, the Joker of Yu-Gi-Oh! represents the Legion, and today guys is the time of the month to talk about all the stuff you might have missed this past month in Yu-Gi-Oh! So if you're new to the channel and don't know what this is, this is just a little segment I like to do for you guys, where, you know, we talk about all the stuff that you might have missed this past month in Yu-Gi-Oh! Sometimes it does get skipped over because there isn't a lot of stuff to talk about, but sometimes I just have to talk about it because there is a lot of stuff coming up, there's a lot of things happening, and you know, this is a way so... For the people that step away from the game for a little bit, or you know, step away from it for a couple of weeks, try to come back and need something easy to understand, just by watching these videos, hopefully it does actually help them out. I've seen in the past where it actually does help a few of you guys out, which is absolutely great, and that's why I'm going to continue doing these things. If, of course, you haven't seen my previous ones, go check them out, they're all in the playlist, of course, ready for you guys. It is just the monthly recap playlist, and hopefully it helps a lot of you guys out. But of course, guys, today is the day to talk about all the stuff, as I said, that you might have missed. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it, shall we? Some men just want to watch the world burn. <laughs> Let the good times roll! <laughs> Okay everyone, so here we go. So of course with this video there's going to be a slight few differences compared to the last few ones. So for one, instead of me just having pictures right next to me magically appear and all that, you know, with all that editing, instead I thought why not just show you guys my screen so that I'm reading it as you guys read it. I have of course seen a lot of this stuff prior of course and I just want to be showing you guys this is where I get a lot of my information if you guys ever want to check up on anything. Now of course I've already bookmarked all the most useful things and I've already taken out all the stuff that is about Duel Links, that is about the OCG, because personally, if you're a TCG player like I am, that's all you're really going to probably be caring about. I, of course, am only ever going to be following the TCG, but as I said, if you guys want to check out any of this stuff, go on to Yu-Gi-Oh! Organization, or YGO Organization, the way they spell it is really funny, but it will have every bit of information that you guys need. It pretty much updates every other day, so it keeps us up to date on all the latest stuff. So without further ado guys, as I said, let's just jump right into it. So the first thing I want to be talking about is of course, yes, we finally got that forbidden and limited list. I already did a reaction kind of video on this. I went over it really, really quickly. I didn't go over it in too much detail as much as I would like to. But you know, this is the stuff that got forbidden, limited, semi-limited, and no longer on that limited list. So the fact that, you know, Stratos was finally brought back, you know, a lot of memes finally died and I was actually happy about that. The funny thing was, was A Assault Core got hit, which means ABCs, yes, unfortunately did get hit. But we got Card Destruction back, which actually ended up helping quite a few decks. Danger Dark Worlds, you know, Trick Stars, just to name a couple. Nightmare Goblin got hit, which, you know, was a sad sight. Same with MX Saber Invoker, because that did go into quite a few fun decks that can pull off some fun combos. Morphing Jar, that has already come back and pulled off some fun combos. Heavy Metal Foes, you know, that of course hit the Pendulums. Other than that, you know, you only really ever used one Cyframe Omega in most decks. Sky Striker, Mech Knight, you know, Mecha Hornet Drones was absolutely a great card, but because of the whole engages, you know, as long as you've actually got one of these in your deck, it is still playable to have the whole engine. It's not as great as it once was, but you know, it is still very much relevant. Scapegoats, really, you only ever play one or two in your actual game state, but it is sad not being able to see it all the time. Same with Terraforming, but you know, Terraforming was another card that it was helping way too many decks. For one, it was helping Trick Stars. For one, it was just absolutely helping a lot of crazy ass decks, but mainly Trick Stars. And I bring that up because this card made the combos even more broken, but the fact that they gave us card destruction back is just absolutely hilarious. Limiting a hero lives, but pretty much you got a hero lives into the Stratus combo, which is absolutely funny. But that's pretty much, you know, the main stuff. They got banned, limited, and everything that got changed. Moving on from that, though, we're going to talk about some of the top 10 decks. Now, this, of course, is going off pretty much a player base in America. So this isn't a worldwide thing that I would like to see, but this is mainly just going off this person's intake. But researching it a little bit more, it is actually staying pretty close to what the world actually has. Gokis, Alter Guys, and you know, Trick Stars are definitely more of the higher ones. It's funny that Alter Guys isn't on this list, but there's another OP deck recently. And this whole Mech Knights being able to be fused into everything, yes, it is still absolutely great. Pure Sky Strikers, yeah, that's not the best, but Sky Striker, Trick Stars, and Trick Stars in general, yes, they're still getting some really fun combos. 
about the other decks, you know, personally I haven't seen a lot of play in them, but, you know, Cyber Dragons and all that, they're not meta, but they can definitely pull off some fun combos, um, compared to what they used to be. So yeah, that's just giving you guys an idea of some of the main decks that you might see at your current locals. True Decos, yeah, they're still getting played, Sky Strikers, Trick Stars, Go Keys, definitely, personally, that's what I have to face a lot of when I go to my locals. Mech Knights, that's just a lot of fun. But, you know, this is just some of the stuff that you might be interested in knowing about of if you go to any locals or if you go to a regionals or tournaments, be expected to face some of these particular decks. Moving on from that, for all you people that are, of course, in Australia, because this mainly reflects on you, yes, the Sydney Yu-Gi-Oh! Championship Series for 2019 is going to be in January, you know, on January the 12th and 13th in Sydney, Australia, I would absolutely love to go to this, but the problem is, is I don't think I'd be able to go to Sydney. Um, you know, the funding isn't there. But for all you guys that are going to Sydney, congrats to you. You, of course, actually also have to be able to, you know, qualify for this. This is, of course, going to regionals, which unfortunately isn't actually on this site. But for you people also in Australia, regionals is going to be coming up in november so if you're at marion or if you've already gone to the good games one that is another thing that has happened so i bring that up even though it's not this month or last month you know it's coming up next month so make sure to stay tuned for that guys november sometime around there and it's going to be november the 10th or the 11th i believe is when you can actually go into regionals at marion game traders i do believe it is that's the one I'm personally going to. There is another one that is going to be happening at Tabletop Warf Warfare. Um, if you guys want to go to that as well. But that's only for the Australian people. So I don't want to be going over that too much. Because I know all of you guys in America. But if you feel like flying in. Because it does say interstate and out of state and all that. So you can actually come in. Qualify. It doesn't say that you have to be in the district. So if you just want to fly in for that game. Kudos to you. Absolute legends. Moving on from that though, we did actually get some new cards that have been announced. This is of course coming out in the new annoying set. You know, that annoying strike set. It's pretty much just another pot of desires, but this one is even better. You can actually just banish three or six random face down cards from your extra deck. You just banish them. I am yet to actually know completely about the ruling on this because it is still to me unclear. It says banish either three or six monsters from your extra deck randomly. So, if that means you just show your, you just shuffle it out, then pick six at random and they get banished, or if it's going to be like the top six, that is still unclear to me because I am still yet to find out more about that. Um, we also did get another duck, you know, factory card. This seems a little bit less important to me. This seems like the card that you're definitely going to be wanting to get. But of course, guys, yeah, that's coming out in that new strike set, as well as the new Sharanui cards. So if you're into all this ninja stuff, this is another set. And when we get to know more about this set, trust me, I will be talking about it. But of course, guys, this is for Savage Strike Set. So Personally, there is still a lot of things that is unclear of, you know, a lot of the information of the cards we are yet to arrive, but you can bet your bottom dollar that when we get to know more information about it, when we're actually, you know, clarified on all the stuff that we're going to be getting, I want to be doing a set talk on it. I know I haven't done a few set talks in the past on one of the later sets that has recently come out, which I will be talking about in this video. That's what I wanted to save it for, because unless we get new cards in that set, and, you know, I don't want to make videos just talking about one card. I prefer to talk about the whole set itself. But if you guys actually want to get all my opinions on one card, you know, comment down below if you guys want me to start making videos like that. You know, I would love to start making videos like that. But I want to make sure it's something that you guys actually want to see at the end of the day. Moving on, though, we, of course, have some information about Soul Fusion. Yes, it is actually going to already get its special edition. This has already been clarified on the details that, you know, you're going to be getting. It's going to have all the new stuff that is... Of course, coming in Soul Fusion, one of the boss monsters is absolutely great. It uses, you know, extra link, extra deck monster, you know, extra link monster, which is really great because, you know, you've got super polymerization. There is a combo that my mate Rayuza actually already talked about for this one. So if you want to check it out, feel free to. There'll be a link to that video in the description down below. But, you know, it's just the basic stuff. You know, one or two super rare variants, either Summoner Sorceress or Isodel. 
Two Tales of the Noble Knight. So really, yeah, you do want to be getting some of these cards personally. I would love to get some of that. But, you know, they're already doing the Cybernetic one here. Um, I also wanted to show that. They're already showing that one. So if you want to try and get that, you know, beautiful few cards, Boral Sword, Dragon, you know, try and pick up that set. That's another thing that I just wanted to skip over very quickly for you guys. But there isn't much information on this. You know, releases the December the 7th. So it is, of course, before Christmas. So if you want to put this on your Christmas list, feel free to bug your parents, try and get it. Don't say that I told you to do that, but, you know, there's just an idea for you. Moving on from that, though, we, of course, do actually have another... That's right, Structure Deck coming out. This one's all about the undead. You know, this looks absolutely really beautiful. Here's a lot of the cards that you're going to be getting. You know, a lot of this stuff is new. I would love to talk about this stuff a little bit more in detail. But, you know, it's basically just your plain zombie stuff. It's going to be... This looks like a lot of fun. It doesn't seem like it's going to be the best zombie deck, but it looks like a lot of fun. And this is going to be on sale September the 22nd, you know. So, that is So Far America. So, in Australia, we might get this as late as the end of the month, hopefully. I don't know if I'm going to personally pick it up, because this is another structure deck, and I don't like picking up a lot of structure decks. But, you know, when it comes closer to this, I might be talking about it. Because at the moment, it doesn't announce every single card. It just announces a few of the cards, really. But, you know, here's just a few of the new ones. You know, when a zombie monster effect is activated, except this effect, Spirit King Quick effect, you apply one of these effects, you know, negate the effect. So it seems like it's going to be a lot of fun for all you zombie players. And the fact that this is coming before October, which you know is the spooky month for this kind of stuff, is just absolutely great. So for all you people that love your zombies, love your horror decks, you know, go check out this. Moving on from that though, we of course have some early legendary hero deck news. So this is actually one of the newer things coming out. This was actually delayed. I read about it about saying that it was delayed because of weather, which I thought was really, really funny. But you know, this is just going to be, you know, it's yet to say when it actually is coming out on this particular one. I haven't been able to find the information of when it's coming out, it might be later this month, it could be the end of the year. But what we do know is it's going to have a Phantom Knight, it's going to have, you know, a World Diver, something to do with, you know, heroes and all that. And it's also going to have Nordic Beast. So, those are the three decks. I don't know if you want to be thinking about picking that up, but that is an idea just for you guys. There isn't really much to recap on that, there isn't much to talk about it, because this is the only information we currently have. But... I mean, if all you Heroes players, this might be something that you might be interested in. The last thing I want to be talking about is, of course, this one. This was the latest set that has come out for us. Now, this is the Legendary Duelist White Dragon Abyss Checklist. Now, this is a set that I didn't want to do a whole set talk on because, you know, it's the stuff that we've already seen. It's just mostly, you know, reprints. There are some Chaos cards. There are some Cyber cards. So, and there are of course some, you know, Blue Eyes White Dragon cards. So for all you guys that want to play that kind of stuff, yeah, this set seems like a lot of fun. Abyss, we've already had this in the past. And, you know, more Blue Eyes cards. But, you know, there is just a lot of fun looking at this. But of course, there is a lot of commons. So this is a set that, you know, if you might want a Blue Eyes thing, if you might want to look into Black Wings, if you might want to look into Abyss, you know, Cybers. Honestly, Cybers might be the one thing in this um, same with some of that blue eyes stuff that might be some fun, but a lot of it is, of course, common. So for all you guys that don't like running common decks, this probably isn't the pack for you, but it's just an idea. I didn't want to go over this set again, as I said, you know, because a lot of this stuff is just reprints of what we've had in the past. It's splashed in with some new fun little cards that we've had just in very recent sets. But I mean, basically, if you want to play a blue eyes deck, if you want to play that whole chaos blue eyes deck, you know, Think about picking up this set, and it'll be really budget for you guys. But of course, guys, that is all the news that has actually happened. There isn't actually much else to talk about. All the other stuff was, of course, just straight up, you know, door links, and some of the very few singles that have been announced, like some of the new danger cards, which looks absolutely awesome. 
But other than that, guys, there haven't been much really big news. There's been some, you know, Duel Links events. There's been some deck lists that you can feel free to check out on this. But of course, this is only to recap the main things. I don't want to go into every little bit of detail because then this video goes on for 30 minutes plus. And honestly, guys, I just want to recap the main important stuff for you guys, which I feel these videos do do. And hopefully, they actually help you guys out. But of course, guys, you know, that's all the information to recap. Hopefully, this video has helped you guys out. Hopefully, you know, if you've been out of the game, this video has caught you guys up on all the stuff that you might have missed. And if it has, comment down below, you know, if it has or if it has not, or if you want me to do these videos a particular different way. As well as that, comment down below what you guys want to see next. As always, I am the one, the only, the Joker of you can represent the Legion, and at the end of the day, I just hope you guys just keep on smiling, enjoy the game of Yu-Gi-Oh, or whatever TCG you play, and of course, ends it for me, signing off, and hopefully, seeing you.